Good morning, everybody. It's been one week since we set our duck eggs in the incubator. So today I wanted to just show you last night, I went through and I candled the eggs, which just means I took a light. I just use a jeweler's loop light. You can use any kind of light, like a flashlight. Um, but this is a jeweler's loop that I use for really small macro um, looking at things. Like I look at my little tiny wax worms that I grow for Louise to make sure that they have little eggs and things. Um, so the jeweler's loop, I just use the light from it. So all we're gonna do today is we're gonna open up the incubator this morning. I have to turn the eggs, and when we do that, I'm gonna candle them and show you the embryos that are growing, because they are really cute little embryos. When I went through last night, I counted, um, I've been turning the eggs three times a day. Hi, Macy, good morning. So, Macy's so interested, she loves the babies. Oh, you're waiting for the duckies to hatch? You love this. She loves hatching babies in the incubator. So I went through last night and there were four eggs that I took out and I set to the side here because these eggs had nothing in them. This is just, you can see this at the top is the little air sac where the baby would hatch through. But this one is just a dud. This egg had only um, a regular egg yolk and the albumin in it, no embryo in this one. So that's one egg that I set aside. <laughs> There were four like that. So once again, you can see that it's just a regular egg, no embryo. You can see the shadow from the little egg yolk. So there were four like that from last night, only four. And I've been turning these three times a day, so I just happened to know that there were 48 eggs in here. I know I said I wasn't gonna count, but it's hard when you're turning them every day. You just tend to count as you go. So here we go. We have our little thermostat in here, and it's 100 degrees in the incubator, and the humidity is at 60%. So I might add just a little bit of water this morning, and I do that manually. I have a little bit of water right here, and I just open up the corner and dump a little water into one of the trays. Just a little bit, there we go. Get that up to 65%. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go through and I'm gonna show you a few of these. I'll start with this little guy. Let's see. Oh, I might have to turn off the lights so we can see the embryo better. Hang on one second, I'm gonna turn off the lights down here, Macy. There we go. And let's see some little duck babies. One week old, we set these eggs on Wednesday last week. So today is one week. All right, kind of hard to see, but that is the little duck embryo. Let's see if we can see a few more in here, some better ones to see. Oh, there's a good one. And you see that underneath the X, it's moving around. That's the little duck baby right there. And this are all of its little veins, just starting to form a little baby duck. Let's check and see a few of these. Looking good. See that little baby embryo in there? There she is. So as I do this, I'm just gonna turn each egg. There's a little baby. You can see, this is why we turn the egg. They settle to one side. And if you don't turn them, they're gonna get stuck to the one side of the egg. You need to turn them every day, three times a day. Kinda hard to see that one. See that little embryo in there? Move around a little bit. Sometimes you can see the eyeball. Is that dark spot in there? Oh, little babies. So it was really good to go through these last night and see that they were all growing beautifully. Got some strong embryos in there. And I do this once a week so we can see the progress of the little embryos and also if any of them don't make it, if for whatever reason they just decide to stop developing, you can tell when you candle the eggs. 
you'll notice a difference. They'll all look like little spiders, and then one will look a little cloudy or weird. And if you watch them, you can see them move because they're alive and they're absorbing nutrients in the egg. Very subtle movements, but that little baby is growing and moving in that egg. really hard to see oh but yeah I just wanted to give you guys an update let you know that the eggs are looking great so far so good we've got 44 embryos in here growing nice and strong oh, they were a little easier to see them last night a little harder to see them today let me see if I can find a nice clear one. I'm gonna watch it move. Good morning, little babies. So exciting to hatch out little ducklings. There we go. So if we are at the one week point, we've just got a couple more weeks to go. They're hatching on May 17th. So at first they look like a little spider in there. Real cute little spider embryo. And then as they get bigger and grow, you start to be able to see less and less of the spider veins. And it just looks more and more like a, um, just like a brown, a little solid dark mass in there. And also as they grow, this little bit at the top, this is the air sac inside the egg. When the baby gets ready to hatch, they have to first break their little egg tooth from the inside of the egg into that egg sac to breathe the first breath of air. So as they grow, they get bigger, but this egg sac, this little air sac also gets bigger. So the last week, this, this air sac is gonna be about double the size the last week before they hatch. So you can also tell how close they are to hatching by how big that air sac is beginning it's pretty small but as they get closer to hatching it gets bigger and bigger because when they start getting ready to hatch first thing they need to do is take a nice deep breath of air to get their their um, strength and get the energy to pip through that shell see that one there's a little So I'm just going to go through and finish turning all these eggs. I just wanted to show you guys a couple of those embryos that were pretty easy to see. Little duck babies. Oh, here's a good one. See that little duck baby in there? See all those nice little veins? Embryos are about half the size of the egg at this point. See that? About half the size of the egg. Cool. Oh, I love hatching eggs in the incubator. It's such a fun little project. And Macy loves it. Macy's the one who's going to tell me when they start hatching. They, she tells me before they've even hatched, when they start peeping the day before they hatch or the night before they hatch, the babies in the eggs will start peeping to one another to say to each other, all right, are we ready to hatch? Is everybody ready? Because they all want to hatch together. So you don't want to have just one baby hatch. Like that actually happened early this spring in my barn. One little duckling hatched and then a predator got it and that was it. There were no other ducklings that hatched. There's safety in numbers in the barn. If you have 
multiple ducklings. The mama will protect all those ducklings. The whole flock will protect the ducklings. But if there's just one, there's a greater chance of it having an issue or getting picked on or getting eaten off by something. You'll notice that these eggs are not very clean. Some of them are a little bit dirty. Like this one here is pretty dirty. That's because I don't wash them when I collect them for hatching. If you wash the egg, you're gonna wash off this protective waxy coating that the ducks, when they lay their eggs, they have this waxy coating on top. And it just makes them feel a little bit smooth and silky. But what that waxy coating does is it repels moisture. So when the mama duck gets off the nest, she might go swimming because she's a duck and she likes to get wet and go in the water. These eggs have a special waxy coating on them that protects them in case mama duck comes back and she's just sopping wet from going swimming in the pond. These eggs will not absorb all of that water when she sits on them. They will have a little wax on top of the eggshell that just keeps them safe and dry on the inside. These are all looking good, you guys. 44, oh, look at this little one. Look at this little ducky right here. Do you see that? There she is. I'm a tiny baby duck. Oh, isn't it fun to think about? These tiny baby ducks are about the size of a grain of rice right now. A little bit bigger. Maybe they're about as big as a a little uh, cow pea. Smaller than a lima bean. Taking out a few of those eggs that were not fertilized opens up the incubator to have a little bit more space for the ones that are fertilized. And it also removes any chance that the ones that are not fertilized are going to start to grow bacteria and get rotten. So if you leave all your eggs in the incubator and a few of them are not fertilized, while they're sitting in this warm incubator, it's 100 degrees for almost a month, they are going to go rotten and Sometimes they'll be so rotten that they will explode if they're not fertilized and you sit them in that warm incubator long enough. I've heard of eggs exploding that weren't fertilized. So that's why I take out the ones that are not gonna hatch a baby. As soon as I know that those eggs don't have a baby inside, I remove them. I don't wanna give them the chance to go rotten and to make any mistakes in the rest of my hatch rate. I don't want these little babies to be affected. Oh, this one's moving around. It's kind of hard to see. All right. And then once more, just to show you the difference, these are the ones from last night that I removed that have absolutely nothing in them. There's no embryo, just an egg yolk. And if I cracked these open, they're a week old. They'll probably be a little bit stinky. If I waited another week or two, they would be rotten. And I've heard a story of a woman who opened her incubator to take out the rotten eggs at the very last day, and um, one of them exploded on her. So that's the grossest thing I've ever heard. So that's why I take all the moments I can to just make sure that these, these embryos are all gonna hatch properly and make sure that they all have an embryo on the inside. All right. All we're going to do is tuck our little thermostat back in here and we'll close it up and I'll come back at lunchtime and give them another turn. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope you have a great day. We love you.